I walked into this person today at a coffee shop while waiting in line for a bag of Joe to take home. It's an anger style called avoidance. What it looks like? I'm fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. No worries. It's all good. Even when there's a fireball rage burning in your gut, you paste on a happy face and dodge and display of irritation. Why you might do this? Women in particular are told over and over again to be nice no matter what. Get angry and you could lose your reputation, marriage, friends, or job. If you grew up in a volatile or abusive home, you may not believe anger can be controlled or expressed calmly. The damage? The primary function of anger is to signal that something is amiss and encourage resolution. By ignoring that warning sign, you may end up engaging in self-destructive behaviors, overeating, excessive shopping. You also basically give the green light to, for other people's bad behavior or denying them the opportunity to make amends. How can they apologize if they don't know you've been hurt? How to turn it around? Challenge your core beliefs. Ask yourself, is it really fine for other peers to leave work early whenever they want? For my partner to take off every weekend? If you're honest, the resounding answer to these questions is probably, you know what, it's not fine. Recognizing that something is wrong is the first step to setting it right. Step outside yourself. Imagine that a friend is the one being abused, overworked or neglected. What would be the appropriate way for her or him to respond? Make a list of action he or she might take. Then ask yourself, why is it okay for this person but not for you to react that way. Embrace healthy confrontation. Someone ticked you off? Tell that person and even offer a solution for the future in a positive, constructive way. Yes, he or she might be surprised or even angered by your words. And you know what? He or she will get over it. Avoidance often does more damage to families and friendship than any other expression of anger.